Hello YouTubers, I'd like to introduce you to my Raspberry Pi um, server. Um, it's got two hard drives. It's one hard drive, there's the second hard drive. I've got all the cables to connect to um, SATA. At present I'm running it from USB. I've got SATA controller, four ports. Um, I mean it's attached to the CM4 PCI-1X by a riser cable. So that's plugged into the four port AS Media, AS Media 1061, which works quite well with Raspbian. You can see my CM4. Um, with the CM4 module here, so there's the CM4, there's the um, riser cable, there's the fan, so I've got a fan which is here, and that's running at the minute, and that's connected to the fan header on the CM4, and that's pushing air onto the Raspberry Pi board which has also got heat sinks um, so it's connected via um, HDMI then there's Ethernet and then there's uh, the USB cable running to the um, hard drive uh, so at present um, actually powering it, it from the um, 12 volt onboard um, system there's no SD card because this CM4 module has Wi-Fi as well as it's got EMMC so there's the Wi-Fi area which works quite well um, but at present I'm connected via the Ethernet um, um, socket so yeah so there are all the cables um, connected by a 12 volt um, sort of um, BT XBT plug which is British Telecom it's an old system here in, in the UK and um, and that's uh, from used to be a hub um, a 12 volt plug from a BT hub and on the monitor you can see I'm running Raspbian and I've got there's the hard drive connected. Um, so as you can see, I'm running via Ethernet rather than Wi Fi. And yeah, so I've got um, that's a 500 gig hard drive, and this one is a 500 gig hard drive. So there's two 500 gig hard drives in here. Um, I'm going to be introducing um, a one u server power supply which I've taken out of this chassis however I've got as you know that's the switch that turns on the power supply from standby and there's the switch so you just connect that to uh, an ATX power supply which will turn it on which will then give it power to the Pi and I'm going to power the Pi, the Pi from a floppy connector 12 volts as well so here and I've tried that already and it powers on but the problem with the Dell supply is that um, it's got an onboard sensor that needs to be connected to a motherboard so if it doesn't have that sensor the power supply cuts out so I'll be sourcing a super micro one new server power supply that's not proprietary as the Dell one so that'll work directly with the with the Pi and power the Pi and power the hard drives as well um, connected to the um, SATA controller so it's a four port SATA controller 
Which means I, I could put four drives into the system. So I could put two NVMe drives with an adapter coming from coming from the onboard PCIX. So I'll have a double adapter and I'll be able to run four four hard drives in this chassis. This chassis is an X Dell chassis. It was a Porridge 210 too that stopped working so I take I've taken the motherboard out and um install the